Today I want to talk about the demons of family destruction. Because demons are distracting our families in different ways. And when you hear testimonies like these, you are just hearing the power of God that is winning against every demon. Ndatemura says you will never be a winner unless you are in a battle. And right now we are hearing winners in the battles, whatever battle you are faced with in your life. And we are hearing testimonies of people say, I am a victor, I am a winner in Jesus' name. And let's give God a big hand for winning. In our lives, the dysfunction of our families it's often more because of the spiritual warfare and nothing else. You may think you are not succeeding, you don't have money for fees, it's a spiritual warfare. You may think you are not getting healed in your body and you've been praying, it's a spiritual warfare. You may think you are not getting a breakthrough in getting your job, it's a spiritual warfare. And the duty of the devil, he rejoices when our families are ruined. His task is to make sure that in one way or another, families are ruined. He wants to make sure that families are feeble, are weak. For he knows that the weaker the family, the weaker the nation is. When families are unemployed, the nation is down. When families, their fathers, their parents die, the nation is weak. When men get arrested and they sit in prison, the nation gets weak. When our children are addicted to drugs, there is no future for the nation. And he knows that the stronger he is in destroying our families, he has defeated, he is trying to defeat the purpose of the Lord upon your families. But right now I want to read the scripture from the book of Job chapter 42 verse 2 only. Job. And we'll read verse 2 only. And it reads thus, Job 42, verse 2. And I know that you can do everything and that no purpose of yours can be withheld from you. No one can stand against the purpose of God. Whether it's sickness, whether it's unemployment, whether it's drugs, whether it's shooting of guns, whether it's promotion or not being promoted, whatever you are going through right now as you are sitting there, no one can withheld the purpose of God. After all being said and done, the purpose of the Lord shall prosper. After your situation has happened upon your life, the purpose 
of the Lord shall prosper. We walk upon the promises of God. I always say this. And that is why we are singing this song that says, Sia metemba o wase calvary. When we walk, we trust upon the Lord. For we know that his purpose shall eventually prevail. Let's read the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10. I only have 8 minutes and I'll preach in 8 minutes, 12 o'clock. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 to 5. 2 Corinthians 10. Verse 3 to 5. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. <laughs> we may walk like everybody else. But we are aware our war is not according to everybody else. We are still human beings. But we do not regard our battles as the physical battle. Our battles don't need guns. Our battles don't need bombs. Our weapons are not carnal, are not flesh. But oh, verse 5, can you go to verse 5? It says, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of of the Lord. Nakogonke Ogu de Pileo Ogupada Ogupana Ogupaza Misa Ogutiayo Nogu Nogu Mogangulungulu Namataebo Onke Eswa Tumbela Ugum Lale. In other version it says we are not having the carnal weapons. But we are mighty in God for pulling down the strongholds. We've been given the spiritual weapons that we may fight any stronghold that behaves to capture us. We cannot fight the spiritual war against the devil with our physical intellect. When are you are seeing your children being captured, you are seeing your things not going well, let me tell you right now, it's an unseen spiritual warfare. Our families are in bondage. We are not getting our breakthroughs. Mothers are sick. Fathers are dying. People are not getting jobs. You are applying, you are not getting anything. There's no breakthrough. After every try, there is no breakthrough. You are even thinking to change the career. You are even thinking to use something else because there's no breakthrough. Today, I want to go to Sikho. Chocolos. Yeah. To I provoke. want us to provoke. To provoke the devil. And say, Satan, we are now aware. This is not about us. It's not about our ability. It's not about our capability. But it is unseen spiritual war. You, you are captivated. You are, you are capturing our families. Around me, my family is struggling left, right, and center. I am struggling left, right, and center. And today, we want to say to the family distracting demons. We can see with our spiritual We can see with our spiritual We may see problems that are physical right now. 
see you are sick right now. The problem is not your sickness. There's no food in your house right now. The problem is not there's no food in your house. But it's the unseen spiritual warfare. Satan has captured the children of God's families. It is his assignment to destroy good Christian families. Don't be amazed what's going on in your life. It is the devil's assignment to send the demons of destruction to families to ensure that he ruins families. Doesn't matter how big and small your family is. Satan always wants to attack. Satan kills families. Satan affects families. This is the demon nothing else and I want us today to tell the devil that get out of my family right now get out of my family right now in the name of Jesus I become free from any bondage of the devil